Hi everybody, this is Donna at Vince's Gourmet. Today I am going to make another restaurant favorite and Vince's Gourmet favorite, chicken riggies. So I'm going to start with, I have the rigatoni cooking over in this pot. <clears throat> And I'm gonna start with pancetta. I'm going to, I've got about maybe a three quarter, I don't know, maybe a half pound piece right here that I'm going to dice and crisp up in this pan. So I have about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I'm gonna put the pancetta in and brown it up. And you can use prosciutto as well for this recipe. The way I'm making it is going to be a one pot dish. Here at Vince's, we sell a lot of chicken riggies, and we also sell the vodka sauce that I'm going to make in the pan here. Um, we sell that in our freezer case, as well as in the side case with all the cheese. And the pancetta and prosciutto, we sell at the deli. So I'm doing a rough chop, as you can see, of the pancetta. I put that in first in the pan. I've got a pretty high heat out of my pan to brown that up. That's enough. And next, I'm going to stir my pasta. I'm going to cook the rigatoni little under al dente because I don't, I'm going to add it to this pot later. So then fresh garlic for, I'm cooking about a pound, a little over a pound of chicken. So I'm going to say one to two cloves of garlic. Do you like garlic? Add a little bit more if you love garlic. You can use your garlic press. I use a knife. I like to use fresh garlic as opposed to the garlic and oil. But if you like the garlic and oil and it's more convenient, we sell that here as well. And you can also roast your garlic and keep it in the refrigerator and use that. So I'm going to keep that on the side for a minute. And the pancetta is browning up. And next I'm going to turn up the heat a little because the temperature will go down in the pan as I put the chicken in. So I'm using chicken breast. And I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit and then I'm going to do bite size or so, dice pieces. Throw it in. Okay, another minute or two on the rigatoni. So now I'm going up, up on the chicken because you're doing this at home, well, where else are you going to do it? Um, you want to get, um, 
like a nice sear on your chicken. Kind of hard to do in these pans. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm <laughs> Thank ready. God. Okay. So while that chicken is cooking, I'm going to drain the pasta into this bowl. Again, remember it's undercooked. And that's how I want it. That's all good. So again, I'm back to the chicken. So I've got my garlic waiting on the side. Anytime I use cream, which Chicken Riggies has cream, in this case we're going to use Pana, I use nutmeg. That's about half a teaspoon. And I'm going to put pepper in. And remember, when you're using salt and pepper, you want to have, or any seasonings, you want to have spoons nearby so you can taste as you go. All right, so peppers. You can use whatever kind of peppers you like. I'm using sweet peppers and hot peppers. Half a cup of sweet, and I'm just going to, these are sliced in the jar. Just gonna rough chop these. You don't have to, you can put them in slice. Again, preference. And then hot pepper, according to what you, you know, how hot you want it. I'm gonna put the garlic in now because it's not gonna burn. That's why I didn't put it in earlier. And I'm still on high heat over here. So that was a cup of hot pepper, and that's what I'm putting in, because chicken rigis is traditionally a spicy dish. Sometimes when I make this, I use banana, sliced banana peppers. Again, you can play around with what, with what you like. So this chicken is overcook it. So I am next putting in the peppers. And then this is vodka. What I didn't drink I'm putting in there. You know you don't need to use a decent vodka. You don't have to use the most expensive. And you're going to cook that down for a couple of minutes. Crushed red pepper. Yes. Again, I'm just putting a touch in. So everybody, every restaurant, like I said earlier, everybody's chicken rigging is different. Everybody. Some use crushed tomatoes. And when I teach this class, which is an extremely popular class, I tell everybody, you can use crushed tomatoes, you can use diced tomatoes. You know, it's all about what you like. Um, what we do here when we make the vodka sauce is we use the pana, the cooking cream that you're all familiar with by now, and tomato paste. So what I'm going to do is, this is a six ounce can, 
I'm taking four ounces or a quarter, half a cup and mixing it all in. Just tossing it all after I let that vodka cook off, the alcohol cook off a little bit, a couple minutes. And I'm making, so you can add more tomato paste if you want it more concentrated or less. Four ounces seems to work pretty well with this amount of chicken. And I always have chicken broth or stock nearby, and I'll show you why later. So I just mix that all in. And next, I'm going to put the panna in. I'm using two boxes. Now, if you can't get down to Vince's to get panna, you can, you can use heavy cream. But really, this dish, it's, the panna is perfect for it. Two boxes, which is you later. I can't remember. A cup and a half. Something like that. So basically what we're doing is we're making the vodka sauce right in the right in the pan. to add is the pasta. This was a pound of chicken and I'm going to add in cooked about a half a pound of rigatoni. You can switch it up if you don't like rigatoni. Pastina? No, not pastina. You want to put pastine in? Go ahead. So I'm mixing that up and coating that. As you can see. So the chicken broth is on deck because if it was, um, if I needed to loosen up the sauce a little bit, I would do it with, with broth. But in this case, I don't need to. I don't think. Now, if you have leftovers, if you eat this for dinner on Tuesday and you have leftovers and you want to heat it up in your pan, then that's where the chicken broth may come into play again, just to, just to uh, loosen it up. Loosen. And there it is, it's that simple. Everybody asked in the class for some grated cheese. I usually don't put it in with this recipe, but I will now. So you can mix it in. All right, so I just put in a half a cup and then you just toss it in or you can put it on top. This is enough to, that was one pound of chicken. You can see how much this made and how many people this will feed. I don't know, four, two, depends on how hungry we are. 
and then just toss it on here. You can put it in the oven to keep it warm. Put a little cheese on top. Just like restaurant style, right? Chicken reggies, I always finish with a little pepper. And maybe a little bit more cheese. You can also substitute the, the chicken for shrimp or scallops or I don't know what else. You can make it vegetarian and just put mushrooms in. In a class I had some um, people that did not want the chicken and I just did pieces of portobello mushrooms. So everybody, there it is. If you want this recipe or any others that I've done this week or last week, email Donna at Vince'sGourmet.com. And if you want to get our weekly specials and our newsletter, email, go to <laughs> Vince'sGourmet.com and put in your email. Okay, everybody have a great day.